decades, for 30 years now. And I wrote this in 1994. It was at the height of the worst days of AIDS. And I was at a program called Bailey Boucher House. And it was in their adult day program. And each day they would put a list up of people who had died the day before. And I remember coming in with a Wednesday and there were 18 names on the list. And it just stunned me. And three of the people that were on the list, I knew personally and had no idea they were even sick. So when I got home that night, I sat in total silence, depressed silence, for several hours. And I just started doodling on this sheet of paper. And all of a sudden I started writing. And this is what I wrote. It's about a group that it was, a support group that I was in. So, <clears throat> connection. The sun slant through half-open blinds, making a perfect square of sunlight on the floor. But we sit in the shadows, oblivious to the irony. I look around the room and realize, surprisingly, that I sit before many mirrors, the common bond that binds us so unwillingly hides deep within my soul. It's truth too real and too cold. It can only be dwelt on for a moment at a time. My mortality and the unknown looms heavily over my body. Ignored, it does not withdraw but feeds on my inability to define who I am. I stand in unfamiliar territory with nowhere to run. Apathy has become my goal as hope struggles to survive. You shield me from its grip, and I, both grateful and resentful, look for escape. My face shows none of the turmoil that boils deep within. At what point in life, I wonder, did I become such a consummate liar? We play musical chairs with each other in search of validation and normalcy, unaware that what I need cannot be gotten from you. The inevitable takes like a bomb in some far off room that is lost deep within my mind. It sounds echoes, ever present. We embrace each other in this dance of life, committed to our desire not to let the other falter. We have come to the edge many times, but dared not look over. We grasp for the lifeline that will bring us back. What would I see if I were only brave enough? Our connection has provided endurance, and we accept that for today, this is enough, and more than we dared hope for. Time has become the mystery, and I look to that unknown and resolve never to squander it. I look around the room, resigned to the fact that I sit before many miracles. Mm -hmm.